Hi, this is Captain Video, and you're watching a review of the Alice Cooper Top Hat Funko Pop. You might know Alice Cooper as a classic rock radio host or from his iconic appearance in Wayne's World. No, no, stick around. Hang out with us. Cool. Yeah, we'll stay and hang around with you. Yes. With Alice Cooper. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! We're not worthy! But my hope is that you also know Alice Cooper as a shock rock legend an underrated songwriter and vocalist, and a truly iconic live performer. Alice Cooper, best known for songs like School's Out and I'm 18, helped define the look and sound of heavy metal music. On top of that, he introduced theatrical elements in his live shows in a way no artist did before him. His performances were, and still are, designed to scare, bewilder, and entertain audiences with choreographed stage shows that include guillotines, electric chairs, and Alice front and center as the defiant ringmaster of all the rock and roll and mayhem. Since the 1970s, Alice Cooper's stagecraft and showmanship have transformed him into an icon and changed people's expectations of what it could mean to see a musician live on tour. So it's fitting that as a rock icon, Alice Cooper has finally arrived as a Funko Pop figure. The packaging tells us that Alice has two figures released by Funko, both this top hat version and a straight jacket version. Outside of this packaging, the figure looks fantastic. Alice is here as a part of Funko's Pop Rocks series with his top hat, cane, trademark face paint, and plenty of attitude. I know they make a Funko Pop for just about anything you can think of, but occasionally something like this comes along and I'm just thrilled that it exists. The figure stands the standard three and three quarter inches tall, but no joke, this Funko Pop looks a little more commanding than most. There are lots of cool small details in this, like the sculpt of his microphone, all the texture in the waves of his long black hair, and while it's a little confusing to look at at first, the small rips in his black leather pants. I like how piercing his white eye circles are in contrast to his stage makeup. However, I do think making the top hat and jacket white is kind of an odd choice. I've seen lots of Alice Cooper music videos and concerts, and I've seen him almost exclusively in all black, and I don't know why Funko didn't go with that for this pop final figure. While this look makes me think of his Welcome to My Nightmare album, I don't associate the shock rock veteran as a guy dressed in all white. Black just seems more heavy metal and more Alice Cooper to me. But the persona and the attitude both really carry through, and that's the most important thing. And look, I appreciate that the Funko Pop has Alice Cooper's boots right, down to the heel, and I have no idea what size shoe the guy wears. But the biggest downside of this figure is that compared to any other Funko Pop I've ever owned, this just has the hardest time standing up. Unlike the real Alice Cooper who's still out there killing it on tour today, this figure keeps crashing and falling down and having the hardest time. It really does seem like the bottom of the boots just aren't wide enough to support such a top heavy figure wearing this large top hat. I had to try so hard to get him to stay standing for even a couple of minutes to shoot this video. I eventually was able to bend the cane a little to make his base more stable. Even so, if Alice Cooper is one of your music heroes, like he is one of mine, this is a great Funko Pop to own. It's also worth mentioning that Alice Cooper shows up in the documentary about the history of the Funko Company entitled Making Fun, The Story of Funko. And it's great to see someone immortalized as a Funko Pop that really gets fandom and the thrill that comes with collecting. If you like this review, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. And remember, you don't need a cape to be a hero. If you want to be awesome, just treat people awesome.